Hey there, Dragons! I'm back. So it is the 30th of December, so I am going to mood read my way until 2024. I'm going to pick up whatever I want, both audiobook and physical book-wise. I'm going to forget about the challenges I'm a part of and just read for fun and just see how many books I can read. So I'm going to talk about the first book I'm going to read because it's like a two it's like two graphic novels i didn't realize i was so far behind in the series but both my holds just came in so i am gonna pick up oh no i have to read the other one first it is um oh, what's the other one stacy's mistake the babysitter's club and they're like super quick and then i have to read claudia and the bad joke those are like two of the ones i want to get through today because i literally forgot that i like didn't read them so i'm gonna read this they're really really quick um I was wondering why like I was so delayed but I love reading them on my kindle because I'm like so distracted when I read things so like having panel view is a lot easier so yeah I'm gonna go read this and then I'll give you guys an update I don't know how long it's gonna take I'm also listening to Raiders of the Lost Heart I will touch a photo here adult romance with an archaeological tint to it um and i'm gonna do that when i diamond paint so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna read a book diamond paint for a little bit read another book diamond paint um, especially like these shorter books and then i don't know what i'm gonna read next i have like i may start diving into my 2024 arcs i don't know i know i have a lot of time i was supposed to go to the city you don't know i live in new york i'm supposed to go to the city tomorrow with my friends but they don't want to go in the city on holidays so we're not gonna go which is okay um, but just getting more reading time and just like I want to also film the end of my reset vlog and get all the stuff for that. I also have to like start thinking about what I want to read next week. So yeah, there's like four reading challenges starting on the Monday. So I have to decide how I'm going to do that. But yeah, right now I'm going to go read, what is it called? Stacy something. Stacy's Stacy's big mistake, I think. Yeah. And when I read... Like, when I'm done with it, I will give you guys an update. Just because I don't know how much I'm going to read in this time period. I could read five things. I could read zero. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to read that. I'm going to go update my Goodreads. Make sure my Goodreads and my story graph are up to date. And then I'm going to get to reading. Okay. Dragons, I'm back. I just want to do a quick update. I just wanted to finish the other book. I think it's called Stacy's Big Mistake. And I liked it. I think that that is, like, a very realistic element so I'll don't want to spoil the whole book but basically Stacy had to move back to New York which is fun that's where I live and her friends come to visit for like a charity event and they have to babysit all the kids and it's always interesting to see how your friends interact with each other I know when I was younger I remember a very specific birthday party where my friends and my cousins did not get along like at all and it was drama and it was a lot of drama so I think that I liked how that story was kind of portrayed I also think friendship dynamics do change so that was very very interesting um and yeah I gave it four stars I really, really like it so I'm gonna pick up um Claudia and the bad joke which is the next one and then kind of read through that see how long that will take me sorry my dog is barking um, I shut my door and they like it, but it's 125, so I'm gonna go try to finish this and then just see how long it takes me. I'm also watching BookTube, I'm watching just the book snippers, um, and just trying to like get my, um, get my life in order for the next. So I'm gonna be the next one and then I'll give you guys an update when I finish it. It's about 200 pages, so it shouldn't take me that long, especially with my. I tend to read graphic novels a bit faster, but I'm excited to be caught up on another series, which I didn't think was gonna happen, so. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, dragons. I am back. I just want to say that it is about 3.15. I did about finishing Claudia and the Bad Joke. I gave it three stars. I don't think it's my favorite in the series, but I think that all of the babysitters clubs do deal with kind of interesting issues. This one dealt with fear of like if a job you do currently might affect your job prospects in the future. Um, one of the characters got hurt and it was one of the kids' fault. So that was like a fun read. And I just like, they're very, 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 very fun. I always make the joke, I was a baby, I was a little sister fan when I was little. I'm a babysitter's club now babysitter's club fan now just because I think the art style is cuter um so I, I finished that I'm also listening to Raiders of the Lost Heart I think I'll attach a photo at some point in this vlog um and that is a rec I got from Jess from Peace Love Books I'll link her below if I remember sometimes I forget but she's very very 
she's like one of my favorite romance tubers that I love to follow. Um, I'm also part of her Patreon. Um, and it's really, really fun. Like I like listening to action and adventure stories because it gets me women. I'm also working on some diamond painting, diamond painting, but it basically follows these two characters and they're archaeologists. And the guy, it's, the guy has a secret, but he basically tries to convince her to come work on this dig with him because if it's successful he will get a lot of money he needs the money for something and she little does she know she was the first in line for this job but he convinced the person to like let her like let him do it and now he's stuck and now he needs her help and there's a lot of sexy tension I will say that it's like in the middle of like a farce there's a side character I'm really really enjoying so it's a fun time um but the book I'm gonna start reading I'm gonna try to read like 25% of it um, is Dungeons and Dragons by Christy Boyce. I'm actually on a blog tour for this, um, and it's called Dungeons and Drama, um, by Christy Boyce. It has this really, really pretty pink cover, um, but it basically is about a girl who loves musicals more than anything, but her show gets canceled, um, and she has to work in her dad's game store, and then she has to fake date this guy so she'll make his gamer girl crush jealous plus it won't hurt to show her ego says he's missing without her um and that means playing in a role-playing game so i think it's like fake dating but like the cover is so cute and i've read stuff by christy boyce before and i have really enjoyed it i read um hot british boyfriend i want to go back and read hot dutch daydream i just didn't get around to it but yeah, I'm really excited. I have, when I was in high school, I played um, D&D with my best friends. So yeah, I'm going to go start this. I'm going to go read about 25%. Sometimes when I read something on my Kindle, like arc-wise, it doesn't tell me how much percent, but I'm going to try to read 25% and then I'll give you guys an update. But I'm excited and I'll give you guys an update when I can. Bye. dragons I'm back it is a lot later it's like four o'clock I did wind up getting a lot of stuff done today I wound up setting up my bullet journal I wound up getting all the prompts for the Pokemon battle Pokemon Avon which I'm excited for and I wound up crafting a little bit I also like did a couple of setup for my vlogs and such but now I'm going to go back to reading Dungeons and Drama Drama and Dungeons by Christy Boyce I'm loving this book I think it's gonna be five stars it is just working for me on so many levels and it has so many elements that are just working for me. But you basically have these two characters that are kind of forced to fake date. And one is all in the drama scene. But she did something bad. She just stole her mom's car and went to a theater concert. Which is something that like theater nerds do periodically. I've done that. Um, and she's kind of forced after that to work at her dad's gaming store. Um, which is funny because when I was in high school, I had two best friends who were guys and we had a D&D &D game. So I'm very, very familiar with D&D. &D. Um, and she's not happy about it. Her, also, her theater musical gets canceled because there's not enough the budget, which if you're a theater nerd, that happens a lot. <laughs> it just does. It's a very, very, it often happens. Um, so she's kind of forced to work in this game store and she winds up fake dating her coworker and they have like a little bit of an animosity relationship. But I'm really, really liking it. So I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to read another 100 pages. And then I'll give you guys an update. Bye. Hey, friends. I just want to do a quick update. I just wind up getting up to 66% in um, dun Dragons and Drama. And I'm, I'm Dungeons and Drama. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, this book is just so working for me. Just a fun read. It has a lot of elements that work for me. I used to play D&D. I am a theater kid. I am a theater major. I, I do work in theater. So all those elements are working for me. But I'm just loving the found friendship dynamic that are kind of building and like I love when sort of one situation kind of leads you in a totally different direction and that's kind of what our main character is learning and I'm just really really liking it. I think I'm probably gonna go finish it. It is like 6 30 on New Year's Eve so I want to read one more book and this is going to be my final book. So yeah I'm gonna go do that and then I will give you guys one more check and then we'll wrap up this vlog. Hey friends I just want to give you a quick update. I don't know what where my watch was. But I did wind up getting up to 80% into um, drama and drama and dungeons or dragons and drama. I don't know the <laughs> total, total name of it, but I am really, really enjoying it. This is like a book made for Laura. Like, 
it was written for me. Like it has so many elements that I like and I'm just so fond of it. Like I really like Christy Boy's other book, Hopper's Boyfriend, but this one just has so many elements that are working for me. I love when characters are kind of forced into a situation that they didn't expect. I like that. I also like the drama elements because I am an art teacher, I'm a drama teacher and you, they always want to cut the arts. They always think the arts aren't important. They always want to do that. It's always a constant battle to have a show and put money towards the arts. So I think it's very interesting that our character, Riley, is really pushing that and it's her focus that is kind of pushing that. Um, I remember when we first had our first show back, what that meant to the kids, like doing a show and putting the time and putting the effort in. Um, but it also just reminds me of like with my friends when I was in high school and how Dungeons and Dragons was my part of my life and how I got a group of friends and it was just so, so fun. There's also a lot about the dynamics between Riley and her family because her mom and dad are divorced and I'm just really enjoying it. Like I would love to see a companion book set with other characters because I'm just connected to them all and I just think Riley is such a fun character. I'm really enjoying this. It's definitely going to be like a five star read. Goodreads is not cooperating, so I don't know if I can actually count it for 2023, if I'm going to have to count it for 2024, but I am really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm going to go wrap it up. I think I have like 20% left. It's like, I think it's like almost like 8.30, so I definitely will finish it tonight. And then what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to count my first read in this vlog because I didn't, didn't have a ton of footage. I mean, I had, I read like four books, which is really, really good, um, but I didn't have a ton of footage because it was kind of like a quicker vlog. But I'm nervous for my for my first read of the year. I always put a lot of pressure on this read, like I just do. Um, and I'm not I'm not really deciding it. Leandra's TBR game is gonna decide it for me. Um, but yeah, I I, I I I last year I read Rivals by Catherine McGee, and that was a five star read, and I love that book. So I have to try to find a book that's really really good. I'm probably gonna be overthinking it. So I'm gonna go finish this. And then I'll give you guys an update and then we'll roll. Um, and yeah, then we'll figure out what I'm going to read. I'll roll live so I can show you guys what it is. Hopefully I can roll before midnight. That is kind of the goal. My goal is to stay up a little bit later tonight and just read, which I've never really done. I want to stay up a little bit later. Um, but I also want to find a good book. Something that is going to motivate me to keep reading tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to take you along with me. I'm going to do some planning. I'm going to treat yes tomorrow like it's a Saturday for me, like a really like slow organization day. I have to work out tomorrow. I have to um, do some like start of the year stuff. Um, and you have to get ready to go back to work and all that other stuff. So that is the plan. I'm going to go read. I'm going to go wrap up my reading and then I'll give you guys a chicken. Bye. Well, it is very, very fitting that my last book of the year is making me cry. Oh. My goodness, I have like 12 minutes left, but like, oh my goodness. I am a sucker for things about the arts. I'm a sucker for things about a saving element. Oh, this book is just giving me all the feelings. Oh, man. Very, very, I, I don't cry when I read things, but oh my goodness. This book is very, very emotional. <laughs> very emotional. I mean, it's just, it's just a very, very like heartwarming story. I love books about like found family. I love books about the arts, I love books about people coming together, and this book just has all of that. It's just, you know, the arts are such an important part of my life, like, I was in theater when I was growing up, I was in theater every year up until I was a senior in high school, and then I wound up teaching theater, and oh my god, this book is just making me feel all the emotions, and I really feel for Riley, like, I don't know what we would have done in high school if they cancelled our drama club, like, we would have been so devastated um, and that, thankfully that didn't happen but as a teacher I also know the other side I know like how we put up a show last year and like everyone was like oh my goodness you guys are doing a show again and the kids loved it I mean we had our hard moments and this year when we were contemplating doing a musical and doing a play and it was a very very serious conversation I remember the kids were like Miss Mara we just want to act and I remember that just made me happy so this book is like you know you find your people I always say to my kids when they try out and I announce my cast list and we go through the whole production process I always say you will find out if you're a theater kid by the end of this and this book is just making me very very emotional oh my god it's just bring out all the emotions I'm gonna go finish I have like 12 minutes left definitely gonna be a five star read i probably will count it for my 2024 reading challenge and just say because it does definitely is is a good book 
probably would have been on my top reads of the year list, so I'm probably going to mention it. I don't even know if Goodreads is going to let me count this book, so it may have to count for 2024 anyway, but five star read. I can tell you right now, it also just has so many other elements working for it, like I'm just a theater geek, so like all of that stuff and the putting up the play and that stuff is just very, very fun. I like all the side characters as well. Um, the romance was just delightful and perfect and it had fake dating in it, um, but oh my god, the theater elements is just capturing my soul like it's just working so I'm gonna go finish it and then I'll check in with you guys and then we'll roll for my official first read of 2024 but this is probably gonna count on Goodreads because I want to count it next year um yeah so I'll talk to you guys later bye hey dragons I'm actually here to wrap up my mood reading till 2024 I'm so happy you guys decided to check me out I was able to finish three things before the clock struck midnight even though one is going to be counted for 2024 because I really really loved it but I read um two babysitter club graphic novels and dragons and drama by Christy Bush which I gave five stars to that will make an appearance in my 2024 content just because I really enjoyed it. Sorry for the short vlog, but I'm going to go start filming for 2024. I hope you guys had a great and happy and healthy holiday. And let's get reading, friends. And my cute German Shepherd is going to go attack my things now. But I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.